keeping the flu out of schools. Good evening, everyone. I'm Steve Hensley. And I'm Morgan Lentis. A widespread outbreak of flu across the bluegrass has school officials on the defensive. Staff members across the region are preparing as children head back to the classrooms on Monday. The outbreak has left several people dead across the Commonwealth. WIMT's Alex Casper Peak went to see how local schools are working to keep students healthy this flu season. With at least six Kentuckians dead after getting the flu, schools across the region have made it a priority to keep schools germ free for students. We uh, take daily precautions uh, while school is in session and our, our custodians are really good and they clean thoroughly every single day. Also our teachers clean desks and clean uh, uh, tabletops daily with Clorox wipes and other disinfectant type materials. While the school is doing all they can do to prevent the illness from spreading, it's important for students and staff to remember to take precautions themselves, like washing your hands and making sure you cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze. Using hand sanitizer um, frequently before we eat, uh, after the bathrooms, uh, if they're handling any type of public materials. Officials say nurses at the schools play a big role in preventing the flu from spreading. Our nurses are really good at, at monitoring and keeping check on our students and, and verifying illnesses and fevers and, and sending them home and getting, you know, recommended they get treatment if they are sick. Officials say if your child does have flu-like symptoms, they should stay at home. In Johnson County, Alex Casper Peak, WYMT Mountain News. Some flu symptoms to look for include fever, body aches, fatigue, and coughing. Now to a developing story out of Breathitt County.